Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to be moldable, like clay. To understand this, imagine the brain as a group of connections. Each connection is a habit or experience that shapes the person you are. When you repeat a specific action, its connection gets stronger, making it a habit. However, if we switch the habit, for example, lashing out in anger, with five minutes of meditation, your response to your brother stealing your favorite piece of cake will become calmer. With neuroplasticity, we can all choose who we want to be and what kind of mindset we want. To learn how neuroplasticity operates, we need to understand how neurons function and communicate with each other. A neuron consists of multiple parts. The soma, or cell body, dendrites, the axon hillock, the axon myelin, and axon terminals. Dendrites are in charge of receiving information from other neurons. For example, thinking, I can do it every single time you fail. This message enters the dendrite receptors in the form of a chemical called neurotransmitters. The soma then interprets the chemicals and takes the information and places it in the axon hillock. If the signal is strong enough, then it gets converted into electric signals called action potential. The action potential travels down the axon with myelin surrounding the axon to protect the signal from degrading. The action potential then reaches the axon terminals, which contain synaptic vesicles. Synaptic vesicles hold chemicals called neurotransmitters. In order to convey the electric message from one neuron to the next, the message must be turned into a chemical. Calcium channels around the vesicles are used to release the neurotransmitters when there is a message needed to be conveyed. The action potential will open the calcium channels, allowing calcium to flow through the axon terminals. By increasing the calcium in the axon terminals, the protein on the synaptic vesicles will fuse with the membrane. This fusion will allow the neurotransmitters to escape the synaptic vesicles and travel into space between the axon terminals and that target cell. The neurotransmitters are then received by the target cell. When a message becomes a habit, more calcium will flow through the axon terminals, creating a bigger fusion, therefore allowing more neurotransmitters to flow through. The target cell will therefore grow more receptors and have a stronger response to the information. This is called potentiation. However, when a message is rarely used, less action potential will flow through. The calcium channels therefore secrete less calcium, causing fewer neurotransmitters to reach the target cell. This is called depression. When depression occurs, the target cell loses receptors and could even die. So go on and rewire your I can't do it mindset with I can do it affirmations and start seeing struggles as opportunities to grow. You can always achieve your dreams, whether that is to become a scientist, doctor, engineer, artist, or teacher. Always believe in yourself.